Helping clients to select the correct fabric for their roller blinds is an important part of the selling process. Not only do you need your blinds to look good, but more than ever, clients are looking for a blind that performs well too. One such performance factor that is increasingly important to consumers is energy saving or energy retention. With the energy crisis that's going on and cost of living increasing, people are looking for ways to save energy, not only because of the environmental benefits, but to save money on their bills. Today we'll be looking at one property in particular that helps with energy saving, and that is the solar reflective property of roller blinds. Quite often they'll utilize something like a silver backing that reflects heat and light energy away from the room rather than letting it through. Uh, we'll be looking at a few of our own options, Fenchurch and Southbank, two of the more recent additions to Capital Collection, as well as comparing them to fabrics from other suppliers to get a broader view of what's going on in the market. Uh, for some very scientific understanding, we'll be using this portable lab that, uh, along with this thermometer, will help us determine how warm the fabric is on the inside and the outside. So the halogen lamp in our lab comes in at a whopping 300 and something degrees Celsius and that's going to be replicating the effects of the sun. So for each of the fabrics we're going to drop it into the system here. If it has a reflective side obviously that should go on the outer. We in general need to wait approximately 30 seconds, maybe a bit less depending on the fabric for the heat of our sun to warm it up and for that heat to transfer through. Once that's done and the, the temperature stops increasing, we can simply take a measurement on the outer side and we can also take a measurement on the inner side. And if it's reflecting that heat energy, it should be significantly lower on the inside than the outside. So the results are back from the lab, uh, the numbers clearly indicate that quad is coming in at 50 something degrees inside and out. We use quad as a control fabric, it has no solar reflective properties, no metallic backing and you can see the rest of the fabrics come in in the 30s and 40s and that is stopping that heat getting in from the sun into the room and it's bouncing that straight back out. Another property a lot of people will be wanting to keep in mind is the visual transmission for these fabrics. Quite often they'll be down in the day in the summer to keep the heat from getting in, but people still need to see out. We can conduct something of a scientific experiment with this as well. We can use this device to measure lux levels, but we're going to take a less scientific approach, like jumping out into the DQ car park on a lovely bright sunny day so we can see how well you can see me out here from somewhere inside darker. We'll be dropping the fabrics in to gauge how well you can see me through each of them.
So the evidence speaks for itself. Uh, all of the fabrics have varying degrees of visual transmission and how much you want to see out of that fabric will depend entirely on your client's needs. Uh, where it gets interesting is when you want to start balancing your client's needs, the visual transmission versus the heat reflectance. So uh, with this information, hopefully you and your client can figure something out and make the right choice for them. Thanks for watching. Ha, ha, ha.